I'm getting the AARP magazine. You know, I didn't order it, it just shows up. <laughs> it's kind of like the Grim Reaper <laughs> of periodicals. <laughs> But I was reading an article the other day, it's kind of interesting. Uh, a guy said a guy's ears and nose keeps growing all through his life. Does that seem fair to you guys, that your ears and nose keeps growing? Shouldn't be your penis, right? <laughs> At least then once you got big ears and a big nose, you might be able to attract women. I mean, uh, Dobby never gets laid in the Harry Potter books. <laughs> Then, then once you start to look like Prince Charles, at least you'd have a King Richard. <laughs> but it kind of makes you wonder about, uh, you know, the natural selection, uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. Why would nature select men whose ears and nose keeps growing and not men whose dicks keep growing? Right, whose penises keep growing. I mean, I know what you women are thinking. Bunch of little old guys with big ears and noses and big dicks running around? That doesn't sound like intelligent design to me. And you guys can laugh all you want, but when you're so old you have to take bike or just to masturbate. <laughs> it's not a cheap hobby anymore.